What's going on? How's it going? Uh, my name is Aaron Parker. Uh, this is my 93 Mazda RX-7. Uh, some people have I got, well, I kind of got the nickname The Wolf from a couple of buddies. They said it was uh, a tiger, but then, you know, it, originally the car was all black, so someone was like, nah, man, it's not even a tiger, it's more of a wolf, and that's kind of where the whole wolf thing came from. But uh, yeah, this is the car. It's got a uh, 13B REW Series 6 two rotor in it. The uh, car makes about 460 wheel horsepower, Borg Warner 8374 single turbo, external gates, turbo smart. Uh, Gleesman, uh, Manifold, 321 stainless steel, a bunch of sponsors on the car, everyone's helped me get here, and uh, Borg Warner asked me to put the car in the show this year. So, yeah, you're at the Borg Warner booth, that's huge, good yeah, for you, man. It's, it's a very big thing, it's like one of my dreams to get here and do all this, and um, just pumped to be involved. Yeah, that's what fun. trans is in the car? So it's OEM transmission, it's not, ballsy. not very strong. <laughs> that's <yet>. ballsy. <laughs> it's not strong at all, this is transmission number eight, so oh, wow. I've been through quite a few. Um, got a new one coming for the off season, but you know that's a, a big step. So okay, yeah. so enough about the race car. The channel's called Race Car and Chill. Sweet, so, sweet. Let's chill. How about you tell me a little about about yourself? How did you get into cars? I got into cars. It's always been a passion of mine, like on the side. Truthfully, if we go way back, it was Legos. My Legos mom would give of all me, like, things. Yeah, just like it was always like planes and Legos. And so uh, after a while, I just wanted to build the cars. And then uh, you know I kind of got into BMX and. After you know, like ruining my body and doing like, the whole BMX thing, I was like, "What else could I modify?" And uh, towards end of high school, I started getting into cars. You know, you get your license and everything, and uh, started modding my cars. So, uh, just got bit by the bug pretty early on and stuck with it. And then, you know, the hobby became what I do like full time. And this is it. You know, yeah. like, you just learn everything every step of the way. How did you make the hobby into a full time career? Uh, it's very tough. Very tough. Of course, that's it, the, that's the magic question everyone yeah. wants to know. So. It's not ever going to be the lights and glamour. Like you're gonna be under the car at 3 a.m. like you were talking before. Yeah. You're gonna be doing your own maintenance. You're gonna be fixing things that break. You know, when you talk to certain people and you're like, oh yeah, well, I gotta fix my car, blah, blah, blah. For me, I can't afford to have the car down. So if something breaks, you fix it. You gotcha. know, at the last event, I hit a wall and um, you know, it broke a wheel, it broke the lower control arm, upper control arm, the subframe, coil over, bent the frame, all sorts of stuff that has to be fixed before SEMA show, of course. along with the body, yeah. you know, and it's, <laughs> you've got three weeks to do it, so, you know, a hobby is something that you do out of passion, you know, on your spare time, this is something that I do 24-7, no joke, you know, I sacrifice sleep just to make yeah. sure that things are done, and, you know, I take care of my sponsors because they take care of me, so... What you have to do is have some means to support all of this stuff. So I do also work three extra jobs. Three jobs? Yeah, so they're like wow. three uh, pretty much just hustle jobs, you know, like okay. uh, part-time jobs. I can choose my own schedule, yep. which also took a lot of work to find those jobs that were allowing me to do all this. Yep. And, um, you know, you just do smart things, you know, don't eat out all the time, go out drinking with your friends yeah. and spend money on stuff that you'll never remember. Like everything that I do goes into this car and like the bigger picture, which is to become, you know, a formative champion. Yeah. So what, what is your ultimate goal? Ultimate goal is to become, um, I guess, if I could put it into those terms, I would say to have a sustainable program on its own and then also be taken care of like financially in the long term and uh, make something out of this. You know, like Formula Drift, awesome, drifting, cool, building a car, awesome, but then what happens after? Yeah. You know, so uh, I need to be able to be happy in life and then, you know, when all this is done, also have a foothold to take care of myself. So just be happy, you know? Gotcha. Live a fulfilled life and... Yeah, so, so you currently race with Pro 2, right? No, no, so I, well, some people petition for licenses, which I refuse to do. So you have to place in first, second, or third place in order to get a Pro 2 license formula drift. Um, in two series in, there's, oh, I'm sorry, there's two series in Southern California that you could do that through. Uh, some of the series are dying off, which is yep. like really like not a good thing. But I heard there's a couple more emerging. So there good. might be four uh, formula drift sanctioned Pro-Am series in Southern California, West West Coast. 
that you could uh, potentially get your license through. Yeah, so that includes the Southwestern Drift, right? Yeah, Southwest Drift is awesome. Yeah, awesome. I saw you at uh, when you were in Phoenix uh, oh, a couple months cool. ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah actually, actually you, you were on video. When you I were... met my uh, rack. Yeah, yeah, yeah and I didn't get that on video, but oh, okay. I got you at the beginning of the day while you were still excited before that happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was actually super cool. I was just walking around with the GoPro and you drove by and you like chucked the deuce. Oh, sick, It was perfect. Sick. So we got the car all set up. He's in line for tech. Let's go check out some race cars. RX-7 action. Yeah, yeah, yeah dope. So I wanted to come out and meet you, so no, I'm glad I did. No, for sure, man. I'm you know, glad to just tell everyone what's up with the car, what I've gone through, and yeah. uh, just like share the love, you know? All right, one last thing. Uh, plug your so uh, social media for us. Okay, you can follow me at uh, AA Parka. So it's actually on the back of the car. Yeah, let's go, let's go back there. So, uh, oh, it's hard to a -A spell. Parka. That's why you, you don't want to spell it out loud. A-A-H. Uh, Hashtag Rotan Clan and Lost Angels Children Project, nonprofit yeah. organization. Um, so he was just telling me you. about the paint job on this car. Um, you know what? You're gonna be able to repeat it better. I hate to make okay, you repeat yeah. yourself, so but just do it on camera for me. This car was painted by a nonprofit organization. It is 100% after-school kids who don't have anywhere to go. Um, the organization pretty much pulls all the kids together in a big warehouse, and we spent about a week going through the whole process from sanding to prepping all the body panels to repairing some of the stuff that got damaged uh, to painting and just mixing the paint so it just gives them something to work for and to have their hands in something they might not be able to be involved yeah in like how many you know 14 year old kids are going to work on a drift yeah, car exactly oh, that's, that's awesome. so cool that's so this car was literally painted by 12 to 20 year old kids right so awesome man i really appreciate your time it's a pleasure yeah, to meet you man. it's cool What's up guys? If you want to see more race car and chill interviews like this, make sure to subscribe and drop me a comment. Let me know what kind of questions you want me to ask these guys. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.